Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So I am in the studio this afternoon prepping all of my flowers and getting all of my market bouquets ready. I still have some flowers hydrating in the cooler, but I wanted to go ahead and get started and show you guys uh, what I am working with today. And then I'm gonna get started on my mini bouquets and then we will go through and do all of the larger wrapped bouquets. So last year I started offering mini bouquets as just mm -hmm. something extra at a lower price point. I charge $5. It's also a great way to get an extra sale. But the big thing is it's a really good way to use those shorter stems that you normally would not be able to use in your market bouquets. Zinnias are a big one for me. I always have a lot of zinnias that are too short, but they're absolutely beautiful. This is a way I can use those shorter zinnia stems and still make money off of them. So today for my mini bouquets, I have, of course, a bunch of zinnias. These happen to be from the Queen Lime series. I have some really nice yarrow that is too short. I have some really cool poofy marigolds. Um, I have a couple of these Amazon Dianthus, and then I have a bunch of Status, which is really cool, and then I do have some Feverfew, which will be a really cute filler. So, oh, and I have Sunflowers. I have quite a few. I need to go get these out of the fridge. Oh, and there's a bug still on that one. I have quite a few of these little smaller Sunflowers. I... Um, Earlier this spring, my pumpkin bed, which I plant one succession of sunflowers in, came up pretty much solid sunflowers. I'm talking thousands. Well, I cleared it all out, but I left a few here and there along the back. Now, even though these were made from Procut sunflower seeds, which is a single stem sunflower, the ones that are coming back this year, and I'll put a picture up on the screen, have side branches everywhere and they're putting off these little mini sunflowers. So I have been harvesting them. Let me get that bug. I have been harvesting them and these will go in my mini bouquets this week. So another way to use an extra flower for some income. Uh, let me go get the rest of those sunflowers out of the fridge while I'm thinking about it and then we're gonna get started on the mini bouquets. All right, so I have quite a few of these little mini sunflowers and then let me move a few things out of the way here. I wrap these in paper just like my large bouquets, except I use a little piece that's about eight by eight, and then I fold it in half off center, and then this is what I wrap around my mini bouquets. And then I just take a couple of vases, and then that's how I display them. And again, they're $5. So let's just start putting one together. Let me put my paper off to the side. I always set my paper somewhere where I set flowers down and then they get wet. Um, I also need my stapler. And I'm gonna do a little stem of purple status. And then I'm gonna fill in with three other more kind of focal flowers. So we'll use one of these little mini sunflowers. Um, let's do this little Amazon Dianthus. And then I think I'll do this pink Xenia. And I want to do one more. And then I'm going to add one little stem of yarrow off to the side. So here's this little mini bouquet. And then basically I trim it and I rubber band it and wrap it just like I do my large bouquets. Okay, so there it is. Aren't those just adorable? So then I'm going to start with this large vase and I can fit three or four in here and that's how I display them at the market. Let's go ahead and do another one. I want to use one of these big stems of yarrow. Let's use one of these crazy poofy marigolds. Now I usually try to take all of the leaves off of the marigolds because someone told me, told me that that is where the scent is. Um, and I know a lot of people aren't crazy about the scent of a marigold. Then we'll do a sunflower. Oh, cute. This one needs some color. Let's put one of these queen lime. I think these are the orange zinnias in there. Um, here's some status. I think this is one of the apricot statuses. And then we'll add this little short Rebecca that's kind of that color. I just think these are so cute. 
a lot of times I will have people pick them up. Like if it's a, I'm an older lady and she just wants a little bit of flowers for her house or apartment and she doesn't want to spend the $15, she'll just grab some to put in a little vase. Or a lot of times I'll have um, like a little girl get one for her mom. Um, they're just, they're just kind of a really nice, fun little thing. Whoops, I didn't get that stapled very good. There, those are so cute. Okay, I'm gonna get as many more of these as I can made really quick. I will show you those and then we'll move on to the big bouquets. Okay, so I went ahead and got five of these mini bouquets done. At the end, if I have more extra flowers that I think are a little bit shorter, I'll just go ahead and pop some together. But I think they turned out just cute. And then I have three in here. So those are done. So it's time to move on to the large bouquets. All right, I'm getting started on the rest of my bouquets. I'm wrapping these in craft paper as well. And I use about an 18 by 18 inch square. And then I fold it a little off center. Normally I put stickers on, but I don't have enough stickers for all of these. And so I'm just not gonna use stickers. I need to order more. Uh, the ingredients I'm using, which you probably saw these already if you saw my harvest video that I posted a few days ago. I have a bunch of really pretty yarrow, um, lots of whites and blush pinks, but there are some other colors in there. I have a whole bucket of status, which is really fun. I have some smaller stems of feverfew to tuck in as accents. Um, my main stems of one of my areas is done for the season, so these are some side stems. I do have two more batches of Feverfew. The main stems aren't quite ready yet, but should be later this week, just in time for florist delivery, so I will save those for that. Then I have this nice bucket of, I have a whole bunch of these cantaloupe echinacea. I absolutely love these. Check out the stem length on those. So I'm going to put one of these in each bouquet. I have a few pink echinacea. A lot of the echinacea I'm trying to save for my florist as well because I know she's doing a bouquet bar at the end of the week. She's doing like a Farm Fresh Friday. So a lot of these I want to save for that is one bundle. Um, then I have some miscellaneous um, Sahara Rubecchia. I have some Moroccan Sun. I have Goldilocks, which um, I started from seed. Whoops. That didn't work very well. I started these from seed and I thought that these were supposed to be a double. And they're all single, which is a little bit disappointing, but they're still really pretty. Then I have kind of a miscellaneous bucket here of some of the Amazon Dianthus that are starting. I love these. I have uh, three colors in a geo order that I've already ordered for next year. These are the Amazon neon uh, red and purple, I think. Um, one of these is the red and one of these is the purple. These are just starting, which is really late, but I am so excited. The stems on these are so strong. I love them. I'm planting them next year. Then I have some more Feverfew. This was grown in my hoop house. I swear that this was the, not the magic single, is it Vegma White? It was supposed to be the little poofy white double. And it has a huge yellow center and smaller white outer petals. I don't know. Um, I've been using it because it's really cute, but that's not what I thought it was going to be. I have a couple stems of stock, late stock, that are blooming. I have a bunch of Madame Butterfly Snapdragons. Then I have a bunch of um, just random Potomac Snapdragons. I may or may not use all these. I might save some of these for um, a bakery delivery that I have the end of the week. I'm going to use my Madame Butterflies first. And then I have this Honeywort. Isn't that pretty? This is uh, the first year that I have grown this and I really love the look of it. It's a really pretty green and then it has these little branches that curve over with these little purple flowers. Now, I have a ton of this out there and I have also noticed that I'm starting to get some aphids on the bottom leaves. So I have released 
um, ladybugs in to try to take care of some of those aphids. Now they're on the bottom leaves, so I've been stripping them. I'm not noticing them very much on the top leaves, but when I harvest these, I've been putting a little dish soap and some cool water and submerging this and letting them sit in there for a minute or so, and the aphids fall right off. And then I give them a nice rinse and I put them in the cooler and they are just fine. So I don't know. I, I've been testing this for about two weeks, the vase life on it. I've done it two different times and I've been getting over a week, even after I submerged it in that dish soap to get rid of the aphids. I read about that technique online um, on a, another flower website. Um, and some of the little flowers are actually starting to go to seed. And so I've been collecting the seed as I harvest them also. But anyway, I just really think that this honeywort is really pretty. So I'm gonna put a stem or two of this in each bouquet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting them together. I'm gonna to start with a honeywort. I'm basically gonna do a big um, stem of honeywort, a big spray of yarrow. This is gonna be my base. And then a big spray of status. I have white and purple today which the purple status really goes with the purple honeywort. I think it's really pretty. So this is kind of my base, and now I'm just gonna fill in around here. So I wanna put um, a stem of feverfew. And these aren't the tallest, so I kind of put them towards what I make the front. Let's do, let's do a few snapdragons. I am gonna mix a couple of these. Um, I think these are Potomac. The Costa was my earlier ones that I had, so I'm pretty sure that these are all the Potomac that I have left now. And then I'm gonna do one Amazon Dianthus in here. That one is so cool. And then I'm gonna put one of the pink Echinacea towards the back because it's so tall. And then one of the cantaloupe Echinacea. Let's put him towards the front. Oh, that's really pretty. All right, so there's my bouquet. So I'm just trimming it um, to the shortest stem. Wrap my rubber band around about three times. And then I wrap it like that. And normally I would put a sticker right here, but like I said, I don't have enough for all the bouquets, so I'm just gonna go without today. And uh, yeah, that'll be today's bouquets. Let's put one more together and then I will go ahead and do all of them. Okay, I'm going to do two stems of honeywort this time because these are kind of single branches. And then this yarrow is a little bit faded, but I'm still going to use it because I think it's a really pretty color. And then I'll just put another stem of yarrow in there also. Then let's do a white yarrow or a white status this time. If you do not grow status, add it to your grow list for next year. It is so cool. Um, I really like it fresh, but I also really like it dried. It dries pretty much the same as how it looks fresh, which is super fun. I'm going to use this stem of stock in here this time, kind of put that off to the side. Actually, let's use two because I have this little single purple. Do you see the difference in these? This is a single and this is a double. When you cull your seeds, you can actually weed those out, um, the singles and the doubles. I have a video that shows that. Um, let's use a peachy one. This year I kind of just planted everything, but next year I may be a little more picky and kind of cull some out. All right, I'm gonna use three of these deep purple. I think this is the Potomac Royal. Always one of my favorites. And I clean these very well. There we go. I feel like I need one of these in the front. Oh yeah, there we go. That's really pretty. Sometimes when I have a lot of ingredients that are all the same color, um, you know, if I had just the honeywort, if I had all white status, if I had uh, like 
a whole bunch of snapdragons of one color. I would kind of do a specific recipe and then they would all look the same. Um, but this week I have a little bit of a mixed bag. And so I'm kind of starting with these first ones that have a little more of the purple colorings. And then the next ones as I go will kind of take on maybe these yellower, warmer cover colorings. So um, I'm gonna put this in water and then we'll go ahead and do one of the bouquets that has those warm colors. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna use this peachy yarrow. And I'm gonna put a couple stems of honeywort. One of the singles, let's tuck in there. Oh, there's a couple seeds. Gotta save those. Okay, I wanna make sure the peach yarrow shows and so I'm gonna kinda of pluck that right in the center. Then, we need another, ooh, let's do this red. I don't have very much of this red, red yarrow. Okay, then I have to do one of the cantaloupe echinacea. This is my third season, I think, on these. Oh, we're losing a petal on that one. We'll do one of those Madame Butterfly. It, the Madame Butterfly that I got was a mix, and so I don't know what color is what in these. We'll put a red. See how I'm kind of making this the front and this the back? Okay, I need, let's use some of these orange Snapdragons. Put a couple of these towards the back. So these larger bouquets at my market, I sell for 15. I don't know if I mentioned that before. All right, here is a nice stem of this Moroccan Sun Rebecca, which I'm gonna put right in front. I need something more over here. We'll put this little guy in front. I'm a little bummed that these Goldilocks are not double. I mean, these are still fun for a pop of color, but that's not really what I thought I was growing. Oh, let's put a Feverfew in here. There's a nice stem of Feverfew. Let's tuck that over on this side. All right, so there's one that has a little bit of a warmer look. Oh, I didn't put any status in there. That stem of status, I'm gonna tuck right in there that I just had laying there. This year I mainly grew white status. Um, I may have grown silver. I think silver and white pretty much look the same. Uh, I grew seeker blue and then I grew a purple, which some of these are a purple. Um, and then I also grew an apricot, which I don't have very much of those yet. Um, but those are going to be really pretty too. All right. Here's one of the warm ones. Okay. I'm going to get as many of these made as possible because I'm going to have to start packing up for the market before I know it. I'm going to get these put together and then I will show you what they all look like when I'm done. Okay, you guys. Here they are. They turned out so pretty, I think. So I have 12 of the large bouquets. Let me turn my exposure down a little bit for you guys. There you go. So they're all a mix of the Snapdragons, the Feverfew, the Echinacea, Rubeckia, Yarrow, uh, Honeywort. Just a really pretty mix. Some of them are a little more warm like this one. And then, like these over here, are a little more of the purple tones. I just think they are so pretty. And then I ended up getting seven of the little mini bouquets. So I just have three vases or jelly jars, and that's how I'm displaying them at the market. And they're a mix of the same things, plus the little mini sunflowers.
Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the bouquets I'm doing for the market this week. The next video you guys will probably see will be my whole market setup. I'm going to go through everything that I take to the market, how I set it up, the tent I use, everything. So watch for that. We'll see you soon.